Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could strum through a song by The Weeknd called Tears in the Rain. And we're going to end up capoing this on third fret to kind of match the recording, but it starts off with, it, with this really cool uh, keyboard intro. And then when the guitar comes in, you can kind of play third fret on the B string, fifth fret on the high E, third fret on the high E, first fret on the high E, and then third fret on the high E, and then third fret on the B, and then we play third fret on the B, first on the high E, open E, third on the B, open E, and then third fret on the B, and then we can almost start that over again with that three, five, three, one, three, but then it almost kind of like we go back to first fret again, and then we go to third fret on the B string, and then we play that again, and then first fret on the high E, third fret on the high E, open E, and then we go first fret on the high E, open E, third fret on the B string, open E, and then third fret on the B string. So we're gonna kind of follow that lead part. You got three, five, three, one, three, 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 one, oh, three, oh, three, three, five, three, one, three, one, three, three, one, three, oh, one, oh, three, oh, three. It's kind of like this little elaborated melody. And the chords that would kind of back that up would start on a D minor, and we play D minor. First finger goes to the high on the first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D minor chord, it sounds really, really sad. And then from the D minor, we're gonna go to an A minor chord, we play A minor. First finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret, and then third finger on the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And from the A minor, we're going to be going to a C major chord. All you really have to do is kind of move the third finger from the G string second to the A string on the third. And just from the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the C, we're going to be going to an E minor chord. We put the first finger on the A string second fret. Second finger stays on the D string second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord. And that's our basic first chord through the song. It's kind of that D minor, A minor, C major, E minor. But a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So if you took the D minor and just tried that a lot, you'd have down, down, up. song you have D minor down up up down A minor down down up up down up C down up up down up D minor down up up down up D minor down up up down B minor down down up up down up C down up up down E minor down down up up down up now something else you may want to add to the song too is bass notes and a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you get added a bass for the chord. So on the D minor, you have the D string for your bass. On the A minor, you have the A string for your bass. On the C, you have the A string for the bass. And on the E minor, you may want to use the low E string, but you'll kind of hear in the recording sometimes where the will use the A string for the bass. And that's called E minor slash B. <laughs> so it's a E minor, but with a B in the bass, you use the A string for your bass on the chord. So you got D minor with the E bass. Are the day using with the song though is something called a 16th note strum pattern and what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the B right now we're kind of dividing that beat into two parts with our down down up up down up one two one two and that's called an eighth note what a 16th note is is where you divide that beat into four parts one two three four one two three four and one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is long down 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 up up down down up down up and what I mean by that is if you take the D minor and do it down for four one two three four one Then on the second beat, we be doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So we're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. But then on the third beat, you'd be doing an up on two, down.
down on three. So you'd be going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you'd be going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, 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 down. So all together, you got down. Instead of starting on a D minor chord, they're actually starting on an F minor chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on third fret, then now your D minor is really an F minor, your A minor is really a C minor, your C is really an E flat, and your E minor is really a G minor chord. But you can still kind of kick it off with, with kind of kind of those lead licks that we were talking about. And that might be kind of a cool way to kind of kind of kick off the tune. Try and match that part. That three, five, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, three. One, three, oh, one, oh, three, oh, three. So you want to kind of play around with that. Or you could even just kind of strum through the chords the D minor, A minor, C, E minor. Or you could try the down, down, up, up, down, up, and have E minor, down, up. Basics of how you can strum through tears in the rain by the weekend. So, good luck!